Boom! All right, y'all, we are now coming live from downtown LA, the Grand Central Market, y'all. And y'all never been here, it's obviously downtown LA. Very, very popular place. If you wanna get a lot of different foods or you don't know what to get, you just wanna walk around, this is the place to go, y'all. I barely really come downtown LA, y'all, but I will admit, downtown LA is the closest thing to an actual city than any other part of LA, you know what I mean? It has like all the tall buildings, all the different restaurants. To me, downtown is the true city vibes. You know, you got people walking around, it's very walkable. But I don't know why I'm about to eat in here, y'all. I'm about to go in here and uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna move for Mexican food. I low key want a Philly cheesesteak. But I don't know what you're about to get. I'm not sure if I can vlog when I go in here, y'all. So I'm gonna try to get as much footage as possible. I've only been here once, and I think last time I came around to get any food, y'all. You know, they got the Christmas vibes in here. And it's always busy, y'all wanna know? Grand Central Market is always busy, y'all. Holiday Wonderland. You can never go wrong with tacos. Quesadillas, burritos, I'm cool on that. Excuse me. Of course, you got the vegetables and fresh fruit as always. LA is really good for that, y'all. Always got the fresh vegetables. Look at this, y'all. They got some peppers. Hold on, let me zoom in on those. I think those are peppers. They look like peppers. Y'all, this may sound crazy, but I don't see anything I really want. I know it's a lot of different foods, but I don't know. I'm craving something real simple, y'all. I need like a good Philly cheesesteak. But if y'all are downtown, make sure to come down here at downtown LA Grand Central Market. You know, everybody always goes like the Hollywood and Santa Monica, but a lot of people forget LA does have a downtown and it is very lively, surprisingly, y'all. There's always something going on down here. So I walked around that whole place, y'all, and I couldn't find anything that called my name. You know what I mean? They had a lot of different like Asian food in there. They had Mexican food. They had some food I never even heard of before, y'all. But I don't know, I'm craving something simple, y'all. So since I am downtown LA, I guess we're about to go on the venture. We're about to walk around till I find some food, y'all. Now, there's some pros and cons about living downtown LA. The good thing is, like I told y'all, it's the city life. Everything's walkable. It gives you that rugged feeling. The bad thing, there's a lot of homeless downtown LA, y'all. So downtown LA is all worlds in one area. That's the best way I could explain it. You see all levels of life, as you can see, in one area. The palm tree is always beautiful, though. Like, I'm going to show y'all a prime example of downtown LA. You see these beautiful palm trees right here. You see these buildings. Then you look to the right. Boom. That's the reality. Oh, shout out to Kobe. Shout out to Kobe. That's the reality of living downtown LA, y'all. You two in the mix with the good and the bad. Now, some people may like that. Because downtown LA does have beautiful buildings and apartments. But are you willing to, to, um, <laughs> to deal with other things, such as homeless people and people screaming at you? That's up to you. Now, if you're never gonna leave your apartment, this would be a great place to stay. We are now coming live from the jewelry district. So you just see a lot of jewelry out here, y'all. A lot of different rings and all that stuff. And it's all the way down the street, I think. I think um, you go outside this building, you can go outside like different stores and everything. So y'all want some jewelry? Come downtown to the jewelry district. Lots of cool jewelry. They also got the street vendors right out here for the food. And that's another thing I love about LA. I love their street vendors because they have some of everything. Whatever you need, they got it for you. They got it. There's so much money out here in LA. Don't let nobody lie to y'all say it's not. I see this shit every day. Three things I like about downtown LA. I like the city life. I like that it's always noise, people walking, different stores, people interacting with each other. Number two, I like the tall buildings, y'all. I love being around, surrounded around tall buildings because I don't know, it makes you kind of feel just, I don't know, it makes you feel small in a way. That makes any sense. It makes you feel like, I don't know, like a little midget, you know? Number three, I like that downtown LA is near a lot of nice restaurants. It's also near like the, um, the Staples Center where the Lakers play. It's near a lot of the arenas, y'all. So living downtown, you'll be close to all the main events. You know? All right, y'all, we come alive from the fig the Figget 7th Street, very popular shopping center place. I mean, you know, they got a store, Zara, they got a gym here, they got a Target, H&M, one of my favorite stores. 
and beautiful high rises all around y'all you know i was just looking at this apartment right here because i'm trying to see where i want to move to next um i live in hollywood currently i love where i live at but i do want more of a city vibe but like i told you i live in downtown la you have to be able to um, understand what comes with that of course it's a city vibes but there's a lot of homeless like i keep telling y'all so you got to pick your poison to be honest then you got all the street vendors once again all the street vendors y'all everybody's a hustler out here i mean the real deal conclusion when it comes to downtown la is yes it's the real city life and yes it can be a shithole at the same time but if you're a person and you're looking for the actual city life and none of that suburban shit, downtown LA is the place to be. Now, Hollywood does have more nightlife than downtown LA, but Hollywood during the day is a whole bunch of tourists. Downtown LA is normal everyday people. So it's all, all kind of vibe you want. And West Hollywood, West Hollywood is a lot of people, that, West Hollywood is very superficial. So it's kind of just a, it's a beautiful place. It's busy, it's clean, but it doesn't give you like the real deal city life, y'all. But if I was just moving to LA, I would personally live where I'm at. I stay in Hollywood because I want to be around a tourist. I want to feel like the, the higher end lifestyle of LA, you know? But I'm not gonna mark downtown LA off my list because they have some beautiful apartments. And if I want a high rise with a big balcony and a big window, this is the only place I can, I'm gonna find it at, you know? I think I can find it in Beverly Hills. I can find it in West Hollywood. But downtown LA has the biggest apartments in LA. Seven hours later. This is like seven hours later, y'all. I went home, took a nap, added, did a little bit of Uber. But as always, I have to show y'all this place. It's my favorite donut place in California. It's right here in Koreatown. And they always have like the craziest random assorted donuts ever, y'all. And they open 24 hours for y'all. And it's 11.30 right now. I'm surprised they all stocked up. And of course they got the regular glazed donuts and everything for y'all, but the best thing about these donuts is how creative they are. Look at that. Then they got some down here. And the prices are good. Like these right here are like $4. And I think like the classic donuts is about $2. So two to $4 for a donut ain't that bad. 